welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. And today in Anime Reaction, we watch the second episode of Suka Suka. If you want to check out our reaction to the second episode of Shumatsu Nani Shitemasu Ka, Isogashi Desu Ka, Sukute Marate I Desu Ka, Hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you'd like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Right. Hey, first take. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing. <laughs> what if a I fucking have... poser. <laughs> you, you almost lost at the beginning, but you saved it. Oh, yeah. Uh, almost. If I'm, if I'm almost. ever asked to uh, ask to do the, do the title, which I probably never will, I probably do the. Uh, we'll engineer it. <laughs> we'll try to engineer it so you know. Actually, I'll probably do the. I'll probably do the English one. You know, what do you do when the world ends, or what do you do at the world's end? Mm -hmm. um, you busy? Are you busy? Will Can't you save, save me? me? Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you have time, you know, no rush. And you still fuck it up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Um. So yeah, this episode, um, it almost feels to me. Uh, like, I, I definitely have to wait a couple episodes to see if this is true or not, but it mm -hmm. almost feels like they're kind of moving a little quickly through some content. Mm. Like, I I don't know because I, uh, because I haven't read the source material, but it feels as though there was a lot more there in the source material in, uh, in between where this episode started and where it ended. However, we have a person in the chat who does read the source material. Yay! So, TKS, <laughs> what say you about how the pacing is going? Typing, typing, typing. Several people typing. Near They're perfect. perfect. Ooh. Okay. It's weird. It, yeah, it just feels to me like it's going really fast. I, I'm assuming that uh, there'll be something happen. Happen. There'll be something that happens that. Oh God. He's there'll going be, to jail. There'll be something that happens that, I guess, saves Catholi. Because Damn. I can't imagine that they're going to kill her off right away. Well, especially after the uh, immediate res. Uh, we got in the first episode. You know, I mean, it, I don't think it's going to get to that airship scene anytime soon. Yeah. So, yeah, something, something's got to get here. But we did learn that uh, the kids are leprechauns. All the girls here are leprechauns. Who can use the dug weapons to their fullest potential. Um, at, at the expense of their own lives, naturally. Yeah, at the expense of their own lives. Also at the expense of them... Caring a fuck about their lives. That's a yeah. Um, that is a really interesting way uh, to kind of work magic in this world. The more you fear death, the less effective it is. The less of a fuck you care, the better it is. This is probably the magic that's like truest to life that I've seen. Yeah. The less you care, the better off you are. Yeah, basically. Uh... They seem to have been raised to not care about their lives. Which I find very hard to fathom because you can't beat... You, it is very, very difficult to beat the self-preservation instinct. Yeah. Because the self-preservation instinct... Well, it is an instinct after all. Yes. It is an instinct after all. Perhaps their brains have been modified to not worry about that. To you know, be rid of that instinct. The fairies aren't trained; they just don't have it at all. Mm. That's very interesting. Hmm. So, are are they like engineered? Because if they're, if if it's that way, then I can believe this a little bit better. It, if they're natural beings, then I don't really believe it that much. Hear it later for more impact. Nah. Okay. If they're natural beings, I, d I don't um, believe it that much. But if they're engineered, then I can believe it. Yeah, it'd be kind of like Ray Ayanami and Evangelion. Except, except more lolly like Yeah. That's yeah. definitely definitely something. Um, yeah. Now, Ryu, it, like, I, you know, they could be 
trained, I guess, not to have that fear. Mm. But it would be really, really difficult to to train somebody not to not to have that instinct. Um, when it when it comes to self preservation, uh, that that's like the basic concept of instinctual life. <laughs> well, it's part of the what do they call it? The reptilian brain. Yeah, yeah. It, it it's probably the most deep seated instinct that you have. Um, that being, you know, self-preservation and, uh, reproduction. Those two are, like, hardwired into everybody's head by the time they are, you know, grown. Uh, pretty much naturally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just about any creature as well. Yeah. And that's any creature. Yeah. By the time, by the time you pop out of the womb or egg or whatever, you're just stuck with these two, these two instincts. And... Whether or not you grow up, even not knowing what these things are, when you come into contact with that scenario of life or death, well, or well, you naturally don't want to be hurt. Yeah. Yeah. You want to continue existing, and you're going to do whatever it takes to do, you know, to continue existing normally. Yeah. That's why. Cat girl is best girl, by the way, Kumo. <laughs> I know, I still like Cathali. Uh, Cathali yeah, is pretty adorable, like, but... I like Cat Girl. Uh, Especially this episode. Mise? Yeah, Mise. Especially this episode where... Um, hmm. Something to do with the race, huh? So, ah. Ah, so a racial Something to do with their whole race. Okay. Racial trait. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. Anyway. Cathali and the... When children attack... Cathali and the uh, massage scene. Mm. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I could. F- you get a lolly. <laughs> you get a lolly. I could really use a massage myself. Yeah, actually. Actually, I'm hurting in about the same area, right in the shoulder blade. Um. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to jail. Oh, God. Just, no. Um, Do not pass go. But, yeah, the um, I, I really like this episode. Um, a, as most second episodes go, it was a lot of world building. Of course. Um, I have found the bits with, uh, you know, talking about, you know, what these girls are and basically why they exist mm-hmm. and why the military is keeping them in their own facility. Yeah. Um, I found that to be really interesting. Yeah, it was it was very much needed as well. But uh, I mean, world building aside, it still kind of follows uh, its own formula so far. You know, uh, sort of mix of serious moments and then your uh, cutesy fan servicey moments as well. Like the massage scene, but, but still, you know, cat girl in the you know in the undies in the nineties. Holy shit, she's too cool and she's too hot. She's gonna have to die first. Yeah. I don't know what rule number to uh, assign that when we rewrite the rules of anime, but <laughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, the cool character. The cool character. The cool always character. Yeah, first. yeah. Basically, at the at the during the ending credits, I was like, I really like that girl with the cat cat eared <laughs> hair. <laughs> She's gonna die first. I just have that feeling. Actually, Jay, I think that was kind of. Uh, at least alluded to in the first episode that he uh, pretty much survived the war <laughs> that uh, brought about the end of life on the surface. Yeah. Uh, what they said? Five hundred. Five hundred and something. Yeah, five hundred plus. Yeah. But so. I I think that we're gonna get that uh, explanation on this series rather soon. That's mm-hmm. uh, how the guy survived for that long. You also, we also got like. Uh, well, when you get that old item, I'd imagine that you'd stop counting. Mm-hmm. Um, we also got a little explanation on what happened 500 years ago with the 17 beasts. Oh, yeah. Coming in, just wrecking shit. And the woman uh, Willem was, uh, I guess, at the very least connected to, who wields the same sword Cthulhu's gonna use in this upcoming beast attack in a few days. 
so hmm oh boy oh yeah we also found out that uh they can predict these attacks so far i mean even 10 10 days in advance at least 10 days at in least advance. 10 days in advance hmm. well, a long fucking time if it's been happening this regularly for centuries then damn talk about consistency right <laughs> short people <laughs> by the way um when you see somebody who's short who's struggling don't come up behind them and pick them up no there's a sure way to get kicked in the nuts <laughs> actually yeah most like short people i've like known they don't like being picked up at all it even kinda... if it's a lolly even if it's an all ill lolly because people start to flail and and if they can't reach your nuts and you're getting kicked in the stomach <laughs> or the chest Either way, you're getting kicked. Anyway. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. So, um, yeah. What else do we have? Uh, any anything else that we want to talk about this from this episode? Hmm. I like I the uh, I like the kids. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, Y two N returning with the awesome fan art. <laughs> I liked how the kids were all really shy at the very beginning. Um, yeah, it just... Kind of true to life. Really true to life. Sometimes, yeah, you get kids that just run up to you and just run away. Yep. They saw a ghost or something. Because mm -hmm. they don't know how to deal with you. It's it's actually very strange because I have one, one friend's <laughs> kid who still does that to me even though she's like... I got eleven. Shit, how old is she? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thirteen. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> anyway, on that bombshell. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.